Number 13 then from paper 2 of the 2019 National 5. Another B3 mark question here about gradients. You're given the coordinates of two points and you've defined the gradient of the line joining them. The only difference is that what about numerical answer you get an expression because there's this unknown P. So let's give your answer in its simplest form. Well, the gradient of AB will be the difference in the Y coordinates divided by the difference in the X coordinates. So that'll be 4P squared minus the 9 divided by the 4P minus the 6. Now it says in its simplest form, and don't try to insulate, cancel out P's. You can't cancel out sums, you can only cancel out factors. This needs factorising. Well, it might be easier to spot the factor in the denominator because there's a 2 there. That's 2 times 2p minus 3. The top is the difference of 2 squares. That's 2p squared. That's 3 squared. So it'll be 2p minus 3 times 2p plus 3. That will cancel that out since they're factors, leaving 2p plus 3 all over 2 for the gradient of AB. So number 14, a little trick equation here for 3 marks. Solve this equation, 5 cos x plus 2 is 1, for the angles between 0 and 360 all the way up, there's going to be two answers here. Well, there's a little nicety that's involved here. Notice the degree sign there, but x itself is just a number. But you're not going to be penalised if you forget to put the degree sign in or put a degree sign where you shouldn't. To get to x, you need to get rid of the bits and pieces. Well, the first bit to go is that 2. So take the 2 across and subtract, that's negative 1. The next thing to go is that 5. Take the 5 across and divide. That's negative a fifth. Then finally, inverse cos to get rid of that. And you end up with this calculation now. This is the calculation that you do in two parts. The calculator does one part and this diagram does the other. All sine tan cos. The calculator will deal with the numerical part. So just put a fifth into it. Don't put the negative a fifth in. We just get one answer. And sometimes it's not actually the answer you want because it's not in that range. So putting in the numerical part of the fifth, you end up with 78.463, I'm just going to call that 78.5 degrees. Now, the cast diagram takes over and deals with this negative. The cosine is negative here in the second quadrant and here in the third quadrant. So the two angles you want are either this angle here, which is 180 minus it, or this angle all the way around, which is 180 plus it. So you could show those calculations or not. So x is going to be, but now I'm going to remove the little degree signs, because strictly speaking, x is just a number. It's either going to be 180 minus 78.5, or it's going to be 180 plus 78.5. So it's either going to be 101.5 or 258.5. But if you put degree signs in there, you're not going to be penalised for that.